Israel's borders trying to force their way in. Kept out this weekend in the Golan by Israeli gunfire and volley after volley of tear gas. But last month succeeding in crossing a border that hadn't been breached for decades. There have been clashes on the West Bank too, as Palestinians find new momentum behind their drive to end the occupation. I am telling them that this is a Palestinian land, they are here as a occupier and we, want, we don't want to see them because they are occupying our land, they can go to there where they come from. In 1967 Israel took on the armies of its Arab neighbours, Egypt in the south, Jordan to the east and Syria in the north, and forced them back to the Jordan Valley, the Suez Canal and beyond the Golan. It was a devastating defeat for Israel's enemies inflicted in just six days and a stunning victory for Israel as its soldiers swept into and occupied both the West Bank and Jerusalem. Palestinians mark this anniversary every year, but this year's protests have been different. Arab revolutions have inspired Palestinians and Facebook campaigns mobilise them. But there have been outside forces at work too. This year, Syria's government allowed Palestinian protesters to reach the border with Israel, unlike in the past. A deliberate distraction, says Israel, from Syria's bloody crackdown on anti-regime protests. The Arab Spring, I thought, we all thought, was about democracy, freedom, human rights. And yet these demonstrations, which are claiming to be part of the Arab Spring, are actually supporting a very vicious regime that's, that's very authoritarian and is the opposite of human rights. That's the regime in Syria. Palestinians in Syria buried their dead yesterday. If they go back to the border, Israel says it'll continue doing what it takes to defend it. Dominic Waghorn, Sky News, Jerusalem.